Hello everyone, welcome to another tactics video for FIFA 23. My name is Ash and today we have another tactics video. We are covering Luis Enrique's Barcelona system. This is a first for the channel across the years that we have been covering tactics yet to cover his uh, system during his time at Barcelona. So really excited to get stuck into this one. And it's one that I think you guys have, have requested very often across the years. If you're new to the channel, Welcome along, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload a video. Lots of fantastic content coming your way and lots of even better content coming across the course of the summer. That I can promise you uh, and I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. And with that being said, let's get into the system. So first things first, it's important to know that we're looking at the 433 here. We are focusing in particular of the time period between kind of 2014, 2015. Uh, I noticed in his final season, looking at the footage, there were kind of changes in shape here and there. The system really fluctuated a little bit more. Um, so we're really looking at the period of kind of 2015 in particular. Um, so we've settled on this 4-3-3 overall. And, and when we, we kind of had Messi out on the right rather than up front uh, as that kind of false nine. So do bear that one in mind as well. With regards to the position changes, first things first, you want to change both of the fullbacks to wing back. And this is going to be very important because they're going to really stretch the play and get onto the touchline as much as possible. It's also going to push them further forward, which is really helpful when you are looking to play it from the back. You want to kind of pin the opposition wingers back if possible. And so as a result, it's important to try and push them beyond the line of the centre backs. In addition to that, you want to make sure that these central midfielders are stretched out a little bit and you want them right and left central midfield. Now, what that does, uh, as a couple of you have been asking recently, the differences you'll notice are you'll find these guys positioned in the half spaces more rather than as a base central midfielder. They're a little bit more compact. You will definitely notice that difference of these guys positioning themselves just slightly wider. And this is very important, not only so that they can support the kind of wide play in possession, but also so that out of possession, they're also going to be in those half spaces to try and combat the opposition counterattacks that may form in the wide areas with the likes of those two wing backs in this case who are kind of adventuring forward and looking to overlap. All in all, this is the shape that you are looking for. And with that being said, let's talk about the tactical instructions. So we're going to run through these here. But before we do, I think it's very important to mention that if you want to see how this tactic ranks and rates compared to all of the other systems that I do cover, check out my Patreon. Not only can you get access to my custom tactics package with rankings and ratings, of every team that we do cover and every tactic we cover, but also you can get access to lots of exclusive tactics videos that are only on Patreon. We've got the likes of RB Leipzig, of Marco Rosa, Arna Slots, Feyenoord. We've got Ange Postacoglu, Celtic, Xabi Alonso's Leverkusen. We've got Real Sociedad. All sorts of fantastic tactics on there that I think you guys will really enjoy. And a whole host of other perks as well. Fantasy Football League access, Discord server access, early access to videos, some behind the scenes videos. We've got some more of them coming soon. So I think you guys will really enjoy it and a great way to support the channel. And a massive, huge thank you to those of you who are supporting me on Patreon and literally keeping the channel going. Without you guys, I would not make this a regular thing. And with that being said, let's talk about the tactical instructions finally. Defensive style, we have this counter-pressing press after possession loss system. And then with the width, it is on 40, stretching them out. The important thing with this is to try and get those central midfielders wider. And that's what we're looking to do, as well as having them as right and left central midfielder, stretching them out. And the whole point of this is to try and make sure that they're covering for those gaps that are going to be vacated by the fullbacks, who are, of course, overlapping, as we've already mentioned. The depth is on 80, giving you a high line, and it was a very, very high block indeed. This is very important as well, considering the nature of the front three and how there is going to be less tracking back. So that high line, high line and that counter press are going to be even more ultra important than what they already were. Offensively, the build-up play, we have slow build-up. Naturally, you don't need me to go through that really. And chance creation is actually on forward runs. Definitely a difference in approach compared to, say, the Pep Guardiola Barcelona system that we have covered already. Obviously, a little bit more direct in the sense that sometimes they're actually going to look to bypass the midfield and get it straight into the strikers. And on top of that, we have a couple of instructions for the attackers that we're going to talk about a little bit later on. These forward runs helps to kind of make it less stagnant and replicate their roles in an attempt to, at least, a little bit more realistically. The width is on 10, making sure that in possession, these guys are going to be nice and compact, come short to the ball. Particularly when you've got forward runs, that's going to be very important because if it was on possession, they would naturally 
come a little bit closer and show for the ball. But in forward runs, they might vacate their areas a bit more and you're going to find bigger gaps in between the passer and the target. So 10 does help to kind of alleviate that. Players in the box is on five, slightly less this time. You're only really going to get between three to four players in the box. And it's important that that fourth one is more so one of the attacking fullbacks as opposed to someone like a, a Xavi, an Iniesta, a Rakitic, etc. Um, who, you know, wouldn't have got into the box as much, at least in terms of Xavi and Rakitic. Corners are on four, and then the free kicks are on three. Let's move on to the player instructions. Let's start off with Tostegan in goal. We've got him on comes crosses and sweeper keeper. Again, this is a fairly common one in these sort of systems by now, so you guys don't really need me to go over that too much. Both of the centre-backs are absolutely fine, so you don't need to change anything. And then with the two wing-backs or full-backs, whichever you prefer, they're both on the same instructions. We've got Alba and Balde here in this case. Join the attack and overlap. Moving on to Frankie de Jong, who is playing that Sergio Busquets role. Yes, I know they've got Busquets in this side, but just for the kind of purposes of getting a better player in that kind of position, we have gone for de Jong in this case. Uh, he's on cut passing lanes. It is a lane orientated press, as we like to speak about in these videos. And then attacking support is stay back whilst attacking. Very, very ultra important that he plays the role of that anchor man and screens the back line as well as being that deeper lying playmaker as well defensive position is cover center make sure that he isn't getting dragged out wide you want to keep him within that i guess triangle between uh him and the center backs and then position freedom is deep line playmaker a really fun instruction to get them roaming around a bit more you'll see them spot what well, see them showing for the ball in a, more areas than what they would if they were just on stick two position they'll drop into pockets of space they'll find areas vacated by the fullback to have attacked etc they'll really do a whole range of things so this is very important as well with the two central midfielders both of these guys are actually on the same instructions it's gavi and pedri in this case of course playing that xavi slash rakitic and iniesta role uh, so we've got stay back whilst attacking and this is important for both of them these guys weren't going to make kind of runs in beyond the striker of suarez etc neymar messi uh, and we've got support and crosses staying into the box for the cross as well now iniesta would actually sometimes get into the box for the cross however it's very important that you only do this in very rare circumstances because ultimately his job is also um, to make sure he's acting as that more advanced pivot and so as a result, we have got standing edge of the box for the cross in this case. The best way to try and replicate this is you try and do give and go passes with him and get it out to the winger. And then you'll see him kind of marauding into the box. And that's the best way to try and replicate that. Positioning freedom is on free roam for both of these guys. Really, really fun because it means that these guys are going to drop into all different pockets of space. As we spoke about with the Jong at deep line playmaker, very, very similar principle with free roam as well, except they're just going to do it further up the field a little bit, sometimes getting to more... Um, kind of advanced areas let's talk about this front three then the dangerous msn messi suarez and neymar we will start off with neymar on the left hand side we've got Antu fatty playing this role in this case defensive support is on basic he was the one most likely out of the three to track back uh followed by suarez actually if anything but you know neymar was definitely the one who would track back a little bit more but generally the three of them would stay forward and uh, that's why we're trying to replicate here. However, with him in this case, we've got him on basic just because sometimes he will drop back a little bit, help to form kind of four across that midfield. His chance creation is on free roam. This is a fantastic way to try and replicate the fact that not only is he kind of running in behind occasionally, sometimes he's dropping into pockets, he's finding areas of space, and he's looking to show for the ball from there. He's picking it up in all sorts of different areas. And this is the best way to try and replicate that, as his support runs on balance rather than being on getting behind. So he's not constantly looking to run in behind the back line. Instead, sometimes coming short and showing for the ball a little bit more. Finally, his support on crosses is getting to the box for the cross. Now with Messi on the other side, we've got Rafinha playing this role, very, very different. We've got his defensive support on stay four. We know what Messi's like. He's not going to be getting dragged back to track back at any point. His chance creation, similar to Neymar, is on free roam, but this time his support runs are on come short. He's naturally does show for the ball more. He comes up deeper, picks up the ball, and drives forward from there, distributes the ball, all that sort of jazz. Um, and so we've got him on come short. And then his support on crosses is getting to the box with the cross. Now we've Torres up front playing that Suarez role. His support runs are drift wide. Again, kind of interlinking with the fact that these guys will interchange. Fatty, Torres and Rafinha, Messi, Suarez, Neymar. These guys drawing across the entire width of the field, interchanging, 
and really just kind of rotating as much as possible. Attacking runs, he's getting behind as he looked to obviously penetrate the back line often with his clever movement and really, really intelligent positioning. And then his defensive support is similar to Neymar on basic defense support. As I say, these two were more likely to track back than what Messi would, but not always. So that's why we got it on basic as well. And with that being said, we are just about ready to round it off there. If you have enjoyed this one, you found it helpful, you want to see more, make sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications every time i upload most importantly though don't forget to check out my patreon a tremendous way to support the channel the best way to support the channel and get fantastic perks as a result exclusive tactics videos the custom tactics package you can see how this one ranks and rates see suitable teams of players strengths and weaknesses etc you'll have tactic written out in on top of that we've also got early access to videos behind the scenes videos discord server access some football manager 2023 tactics that are personally made by me and used and tested by myself uh, so i think you guys will really enjoy that with that being said we're just about ready to round it off there give me a follow on twitter if you haven't done so already and until the next time i will see you soon